16 minutes after the top of the hour, we continue to follow new violence this morning. This is a live picture now out of Cairo, Egypt. President Obama being criticized for sending mixed messages, and some say leading from behind. With us now is Fox News strategic analyst, Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters. Good morning to you, Colonel. Good morning, Gretchen. As you continue to watch this video coming in with more violence, moving on to other countries, what do you make of it? Well, it's an inevitable result of weakness, of our president's non-policy, non-strategy. I mean, leading from behind is just a silly catchphrase that somebody in the White House came up with to try to justify the confusion. I mean, our president is clearly an indecisive, fearful, and I believe duplicitous man whose approach to the Middle East has been characterized by naivety and the belief that by apologizing over and over again for America, the greatest force of freedom in history, and pursuing appeasement as epitomized by those horrific tweets from Cairo, basically begging people not to attack our embassy because we're very, very sorry for everything we've ever done. It's just tragic. I mean, and I'm appalled. And I, by the way, I have to say, I'm just so appalled that for the, the establishment media, the issue hasn't been our dead diplomats or attacks on the, uh, the embassies. The issue's been Mitt Romney, who they fear now has an opening. Yeah, yeah. That, many people believe that was amazing uh, and not a good way yesterday. Uh, I want to have you listen to the president. This is one of the two interviews he gave yesterday. This one to Telemundo, where he talks about his decision to wait. Listen to this. Would you consider the current Egyptian regime an ally of the United States? I, you know, I don't think that uh, we would consider them an ally, uh, but we don't consider them an enemy. They, they are a new government that is trying to find its way. Uh, they were democratically elected. Uh, I think that uh, we are going to have to see how they respond to this incident, uh, how they respond to, for example, maintaining the peace treaty in is uh, with Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, at least, what we've seen is that in some cases they've said the right things and taken the right steps. Is this more of the friendly, like me kind of rhetoric? Egypt's not an ally, they're not an enemy. What are they? Well, <laughs> he doesn't know. You know, there's an old maxim in the military, and it's very true, that a mediocre plan violently and promptly executed is better than a perfect plan too late. And this president really is a Hamlet, a to-be-or-not-to-be guy who wants all the facts, and you never get all the facts in time. It just doesn't, the world doesn't work that way. And so, you know, again, I look at his non-strategy strategy, and I'll tell you this, any strategy that can be utterly undone by an amateur video clip uh, isn't much of a strategy. But do you and, believe that and, that was what sparked it, actually, Colonel? I mean, well, we, we've had other people on the show this morning that, that think that's just a little bit of a cover, that, that maybe these were orchestrated attacks or that that video, six months old, didn't really have that much to do with it. Well, see, the answer is in between. It, the video is not the cause of the, the assassination of our ambassador or the attacks in the embassy. But the video was a useful tool for the Salafist extremists, the Al-Qaeda types, to use to get you know, the average illiterate or semi-literate um, Arab out on the streets of the city as cover. I mean, mm -hmm. they could, we, we provided them, f uh, the, the filmmaker provided them fuel. And that's, it did play a role as a tool. It's not the ultimate cause. But Gretchen, if I may, the thing I worry about now is that Obama, he, he doesn't want any drama before the election. He, needs, he knows he needs to do something. So I'm very, very concerned that he's going to do a Bill Clinton, throw some cruise missiles at some empty huts in the desert, and pretend that solved the problem. But honestly, and you've heard Tony Schaefer and others say it this morning on the show, and it har sounds harsh, but it's true. In this part of the world, the only thing these radical Islamist fanatics understand is brute force. They kill four of ours, you kill 400 of theirs. Nothing else works. Sorry, Harvard. Sorry, Yale. Sorry, Princeton. Your theories flopped. When our, when our people are killed, you kill them in large numbers. Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters, never one to mince words. Thanks for your time today. <laughs> Thank you, Gretchen.